We are now at the Project Faultless site that was conducted in January 1968. In order to drill the holes for the faultless test, which were about uh, 10 feet in diameter holes that went down 3,200 feet, they had to use large quantities of water and drilling mud. It was piped out here into this reservoir. Drill mud, as you can see, has a black coating on the surface. And I believe this is uh, left over from the diesel fuel or petroleum compounds that they added to the drill mud. This is a little raft that they used so that when this area was filled with water, they could go out and tend the various uh, features out here and like take dippings and find out what the mud level was at. And uh, anyway, it would be, uh, I guess, kind of fun to ride on this boat. Just think of it with an oar and kind of row, row, row your boat across this thing is all this mud spewing out from this drilling of this underground test site. The test was to determine if the area was seismically stable and could contain an underground nuclear explosion without venting. Uh, within minutes uh, of the underground test, the area sort of collapsed. A large block of the area collapsed along what they think are existing faults. And what you see here is one of these uh, fault areas. The area we are standing on fell about 15 feet from the shock of the blast. Well, what do we have here? This is uh, the drill basement for the emplacement hole of the Project Faultless site. This uh, pipe, or uh, one inside it, goes down uh, 3,200 feet where the one megaton nuclear blast occurred. The ground level before the explosion was up at the top of the pipe. And when the explosion occurred, the ground dropped here, leaving the pipe sticking up above the surface now. 